guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be another ColourPop video. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing and swatching the ColourPop Libby Sticks. In my last video, I talked about all the face products, so I will link that video below and somewhere in the video so you guys can just click on it and go. So like I said in my previous video, ColourPop is a pretty new company. It's only a year old. Um, and they focus on extremely high quality products, but with an extremely affordable price. Um, these Libby sticks are $5. So you really cannot even go to the store. Like you can't go to Walmart or Ulta or anywhere and get a good lipstick for $5. Like Rimmel's not even $5, is it? It may be like $5, but those suck. So I do have seven lippy sticks here. Now each shade does come with a matching lip liner. Um, I didn't pick up any lip liners because I wanted to see um, if I even like the shades first because I don't want to get a lippy stick and then a lip liner and then not like the actual shades. So looking on the website they didn't have a lip liner for every single lippy stick. They had it for most of them but I saw a few that didn't have them. They are extremely long wearing and they're so comfortable on the lips. They're literally like lip stains but where lip stains are like drying and stuff these just feel like almost like they feel like nothing like they feel so comfortable on the lips i am wearing one today and they literally stain if you have me on instagram then you will have seen that i posted a picture of the aftermath of my lippy stick swatches and it literally stained my hand like i scrubbed with cold cream now i took a makeup wipe remover and like scrubbed my arm and it literally did not come off until the next day when i took a shower so they are so intense they're so pigmented they have such crazy good color payoff and they're all they're all equally amazing like there's not one that's better than the other as far as like pigmentation or creaminess or anything and these smell so good they smell so sweet they smell like a really really sweet vanilla they smell really strong when you first put them on and in the in the packaging but once you like wear them like right now i can't smell anything on my lips so once they wear after a couple minutes the smell goes away so if you're someone that can't stand smells on your lips then you don't have to worry about this but they smell so good in the packaging so they do have a variety of finishes. There are matte, cream, satin, glossy, and hyper glossy. There's something for everyone and the color range is absolutely extraordinary. Like they literally have a color for everyone. They have all different shades of nudes. They have bright colors. They have reds. They have everything. Like you literally could not not find something that you like. They're just, it's absolutely amazing. And for $5, like I can't even... I don't even know how they do it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys each of the colors up close. I did post a picture on my Instagram of all the shades swatched together, but I'm gonna show you each shade individually instead of showing you guys like on my forearm. I'm just gonna show one at a time so that it won't get confusing or anything. And before I get into the swatches, I just wanna tell you guys I am wearing the shade Toucan on my lips right now. So I just wanted to go ahead and throw that out there before we get started. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So the first shade I have is called Toucan and this is the one that I'm wearing on my lips today. And this is a matte finish and the website calls this a bright pinky red coral and I definitely think that that's exactly what this is. It kind of has some kind of like magenta properties to it. It's such a pretty color so that is Toucan. The next shade I have is called Pinch and this is also a matte finish and this is just a light pinky beige nude. It's so pretty and I think it's gonna be so flattering on so many different skin tones especially if you're more of a medium to deeper skin tone and you want to wear nude but you don't want to have that like ghostly appearance to your lips, I think it's gonna be perfect for you. So this is Pinch. The next shade I have is Skimpy, and this is a glossy finish, as you can tell, it's very glossy. And this is just a beautiful, soft, pale, kind of nude beige. It kind of has like a pink undertone to it. This is so pretty, and this isn't gonna make you look dead or ghostly or anything. It's just such a nice, pale nude, and I think if you have a lighter skin tone, this is going to be so beautiful. Um, if you have a deeper skin tone, this may be a little too light for you, but overall, this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous nude. And once again, this is skimpy. The next shade I have is called Julep, and this is a cream finish. And this is just a beautiful, bright red coral with orange undertones. It's so pretty, and this is one of those that's going to make your teeth look water. It's just such a pretty, flattering red. I think it's going to be so pretty for summer. So once again, that is Julep. The next shade I have is called Topanga, and oh my god, can we just talk about the name real quick? Yeah, Topanga, like Boy Meets World. And this is a satin finish, and it's just a really, really pretty, kind of like mid-tone, dusty coral. That's what the website refers to it as, and I think that's perfect. It's such an odd color. It's got some pink undertones, but it's not pink. It's just a really, really pretty, kind of muted 
corally pink. It's just so beautiful and I've been absolutely obsessing over this one lately. I definitely think this is one that everyone needs in their collection because it's just so wearable but it's also a little bit different from your everyday nudes or your corals or your reds. So once again that is Topanga. So can we just talk about the stains on my hand right now? Yep. So the next couple of shades I wanted to show you guys are so similar and I wanted to talk about them together because if you see swatches individually, they look pretty much identical. So I wanted to show them side by side. So the one on the left is called Westy and the one on the right is called Bound. Westy is a soft, dusty, baby pink and it is a matte finish. And then Bound is a glossy finish. So that kind of gives you an idea of what the matte versus the glossy looks like. But this one's referred to as a light nude pink. The main difference I can see in these are that Westy is more of like an orchid, kind of like a fuchsia purpley pink. And Bound is more of like a mauve pinky nude. Um, they're really, really similar. I mean, honestly, if I were you guys, I would just choose one and choose a finish that you like better because they're so similar. So once again, that is Westy and Bound. I had said that these are like stains for your lips, but I wanted to show you guys the actual power of these. So like I said, this is in the shade Toucan. So this is a makeup wipe right here. It's dirty because I've been using it for swatches. So I'm going to wipe this off with this makeup wipe. And you guys are going to see that it still leaves behind like color. Like it, it doesn't, it just doesn't completely come off. So there's what it looks like when I remove it with a makeup wipe. Um, it doesn't feel like I have anything on my lips anymore, like I could feel it before, but now it doesn't feel like I have absolutely anything on my lips, and I have, like, this is went through, like, a kiss-proof test, like, I've wiped off my lipstick, and you see if it, like, shows up when you kiss somebody, because that's something you gotta know. It doesn't, like, it literally, it doesn't feel like anything, like, I, my lip, my hands are stained right now, but, like, it literally does not feel like anything. So, I also have a paper towel here, I'm gonna scrub my lips. Ugh. and a little bit more is coming off but like it's it's still there it's still there so this is something that you could probably wear in the swimming pool or the ocean or if you want to go swimming this is what you need to wear so that is it for this review and swatch video of the ColourPop Lippy Sticks. I do have some more on their way, but um, I'll just post pictures on my Instagram of the swatches of those since it didn't make it to this video. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'm at the Glamour Index on Instagram and Twitter. And make sure you follow my Facebook page. I post beauty tips and product reviews and makeup looks and all that stuff on there. But definitely follow me on Instagram and Twitter because Instagram has literally become like a beauty blog for me. And I'm super excited about it. And it's just, it's growing so rapidly rapidly and I'm so excited so make sure you go follow me all my social media links are below but thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today thumbs up if you like this video subscribe and I hope you guys have a beautiful day Mwah.